Hello everybody. Um, in this video, I'm gonna continue uh, what I started last time: the uh, material balance for um, uh, non-reactive systems. And the last time we um, we saw how we can do the degrees of freedom for uh, like a system uh, or a flow sheet, and know how can uh, we solve it and if it's solvable or not, and uh, how this degrees of freedom is gonna help us with doing this. And um, the last thing we saw last time is this um, uh, distillation column train, uh, and we saw that uh, the overall was zero and uh, I mean the process was zero that's why we were able to solve this uh, system and that uh, uh, none of these uh, units was zero uh, the degrees of freedom one of them was zero that's why we uh, did it this way we'll start with the with the overall material balance so we can solve um, uh, streams D1, B1, D2 and B2 and then we will get um, enough information to solve D and B and um, Today we will see how we can do these um, uh, calculations using Excel and how this can uh, s um, save us a lot of time. So uh, uh, first, what the first thing we need to do is to do the balance equations. So first, uh, we need to know what equations are we gonna do. So uh, it's pretty simple. We're gonna just say that what we'll have here is gonna be coming in these four streams, um, and we'll do it for the four components that we have: the xylene, styrene, toluene, and benzene, and um, um, this is uh, what we're gonna do. So this is the flow rate of the xylene in the feed, which is the flow rate, the total flow rate multiplied by the component uh, percentage or the um, um, uh, mole mole percent of this uh, component in the feed. And we'll do the same. It's the xylene in D1, xylene in B1, xylene in D2, and B2. And we'll do the same for the other three components for the xylene, toluene, and benzene. Um, and these are the four equations and we should be able to solve these equations and get the um, flow rates of uh, the four streams that are coming here and um, um, by substituting this is what we're gonna get we have four equations and four unknowns which is d1 b1 d2 and b2 as we just said and um, actually these are uh, four linear algebra uh, algebraic equations which mean that we can solve them in many ways and actually what we're gonna do today is to solve them using matrices so we can apply what we um, uh, what we talked about before in solving matrices using Excel um, and um, uh, see how this can s save us some time and after we get uh, or, or we put this equation in the formal matrices this is the final form that we are gonna get this is the uh, coefficient matrix this is the variable matrix and this is the product and this is the form that we solved before using Excel and um, then once we get this equ this information then we will have enough information to solve this column which is uh, getting the value of D uh, or, or stream uh, D or the flow rate of a stream D and its components and these are the equations that we have and the same for uh, column um, um, oh uh, this is substituting term. so now substituting for this um, uh, equations and then we have four equations and four unknowns which we were able to to get them and the same for co column number three we'll get the equations substitute and get these um, uh, equation to solve this uh, uh, this column so let's go ahead and see how we can do this using Excel so um, it's pretty simple actually so uh, oh I forgot to delete all these values I'm sorry um, so it is exactly what we did before um, oops sorry so this is uh, just I, I I made this uh, this formatting just to make it easy for me and for you to see what's going on. So actually, what I did I just put the coefficients here, which are these um, uh, coefficients the seven, four, four, fifty, four, and thirty five, which are these these coefficients. I'm putting them in this column, and we said that we are gonna multiply this matrix by the coefficient. I mean I mean the. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we have this matrix, and then we have this. Um, uh, this is the coefficient matrix, and this is the product matrix. And um, the steps are first: we calculate the determinant to see if it's solvable or not, and then to get the inverse matrix, and then multiply the inverse matrix by this matrix to get the product, which is D1, B1, D2, and B2. And then once we get these numbers, then we we are able to solve column two and column three to get these two 
uh, columns which is D and B like to solve column 2 and column 3 to get D and B so let's uh, take it step by step so first to calculate the determinant we said that we uh, use the function m determ oops m determ and then choose this whole matrix and then press enter so it's not zero as we see and now we can solve this matrix it's solvable uh, which is something good um, then the next step is to calculate the inverse and as we agreed or said before we need to highlight the whole uh, matrix and then type equals m inverse and then highlight this whole thing and press control shift enter and then uh, we have the inverse matrix um, the final thing is to get the product it's by highlighting the product matrix and then uh, type m multiply just m u l t and then this is the first array and this is the second array and then press control shift enter and then we have the product of d1 b1 d2 and b2 so it's pretty pretty simple quickly done and straightforward you can do this in like less than one minute and now we have uh, the product of the uh, overall material balance of these three columns together and now we have the flow rates of d1 b1 d2 and b2 the final thing we need to do on the last two things we need to do now is to calculate the flow rates and compositions of these two streams which we don't need no, we don't know anything about them so it's actually pretty simple we know that this d uh, equals d1 plus b1 this is the total flow rate and the component flow rate will be the same what you have here in, in xylene is the xylene here and xylene here so um, as we uh, wrote in the previous equations the x will be um, the seven percent or what we have in D, the xylene in D is the 7% multiplied by D1 plus the 18% multiplied by B1 and actually you can write this manually or we can use the numbers we have in this matrix because this matrix is exactly the numbers we have here so just to save some time we can put this and multiply this by um, D1 right? and then 0.18 multiplied by um, B1 and actually because we are gonna uh, drag all these uh, or, or drag this formula in order to calculate these uh, values automatically without doing or writing the same formula four times we need to freeze these these um, cells as we did before so we just press F4 here and press F4 here just to freeze B1 and D1 right and then you press enter and you can drag it so as you see it's calculating from the right cells and you have the four components and you can get the sum which is the total flow rate of the whole stream equals to 625 if you want to get the composition then you can just divide this by the um, total and then press F4 just to get the percent and here we go so we know the composition the flow rate and the total flow rate of these uh, this stream um, and one other thing which is pretty cool about Excel like if you don't want to use this uh, or calculate from these uh, cells uh, up there and if you want to write uh, for instance this point uh, oh seven sometimes you can write it like this but it may like be kind of tricky because you may put one more zero or less zero and uh, an easy way of writing this is to write seven percent the same way it's written in this flow sheet and excel will understand it so if you open it it will so n nothing is wrong with the calculations pretty pretty right but just as another way of writing this um, in order to uh, reduce the errors if if any and the last thing is to do this calculations for the last column so I'll do it uh, the same way it's D2 multiplied by uh, this plus B2 well, uh, let's put the F4 multiplied by this I didn't put the F4 for the D and uh, here we go and this is the sum and this is the composition um, and here we go so now you know all the flow rates and all the compositions of the four all the streams that you have in this flow sheet is pretty simple straightforward so um, next time we're gonna solve um, 
uh, or see how to do the degrees of freedom and the material balance calculations for reactive system so it's something like this but it has a reactor so you have more uh, kind of uh, work to be done with the reactor so you can do the material balance and the degrees of freedom so I'll see you then Bye -bye.